I'm out. I'm gone. I'm done. I am just searching what I eat in a day vegan on YouTube for some recent what I eat in a day is preferably from channels I'm unfamiliar with. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun or horrifying. I don't know. Maybe there, maybe there's a bunch of like Freely clones or something. I don't think so. Low fat fruit is pretty much dead. Didn't I just make videos about like two different Freely type <laughs> content creators? Like more recent one? Yeah. Okay. It'll never die. What I eat in a day is a vegan healthy plus balanced veggie kins. I think I have made one or two of her recipes before, but I don't think I've ever seen one of her videos. Ladies and gentle beans, we have gathered here today to make another matcha latte, but before we do that, I'm gonna take this immunity shot, which is potentially very old. I made this before I left for my last trip and I feel like it's not good anymore, but it smells fine. I've been making these recently at home and then taking them whenever I remember, and I think it's helped with all the travel I've been doing. Ooh, lapel mic while drinking is no right now to jail. Her kitchen's so cute. I love it. I love the pink. I like the matching like paint pot. I mean, it's not really matching. It's kind of a different pink, but I guess that's good, right? You don't want it to be totally matchy. I'm not gonna lie. Making these videos has helped to keep me more accountable in terms of eating protein because I love carbs and I love noodles and I love bread, all of that. And we are still gonna be eating all that today, but I am also able to kind of get away with eating that way and not seeing many physical consequences. The thing is, it really hinders my muscle growth and stuff like that. And I'm a pretty active person. I actually feel like I've gotten more and more active in the last like six months. I don't share it all the time, except for maybe on my Instagram stories, but I lift very heavy and I work out almost seven days a week. So as I get older, especially, I feel like it is important for me to build habits and get my plant protein on. Perfectly said. I love that. That's such a great counter to what I often hear, which is that like, why do you talk about protein so much? Vegans don't get like protein deficiency. Well, no, of course not. You have to be on a very low protein diet to end up clinically deficient in protein, but there seem to be benefits to getting more protein, particularly when it comes to muscle growth, particularly when it comes to aging. Oh, I see a Merle O'Neill 100 plus grams of protein in the sidebar here. Oh, I'm definitely gonna check that out. So we're gonna make a raspberry milk matcha latte. I don't know why I felt called to do this. This has been my favorite milk recently, the Calafia Organic Almond Milk. Literally only has three ingredients, so nobody say anything to me about how unhealthy plant milks are, okay? It's literally water, almonds, and sea salt. I'm not gonna lie though, I am not really one to be afraid of like some of the bad milks. I just, it's... Because you shouldn't be afraid. They are fine. In fact, they can be better than the ones that are unfortified. It depends on what the rest of your diet look like. looks like. And I think this is going to be one of the potential problems with these what I eat in a days I'm going to watch. They could all be perfect. I don't know. But that's one of the things I would not be surprised by is calcium. Then we're going to froth it together and hopefully we get like a nice pink milk. Ew, with chunks in it. Please understand that I'm not being mean when I am grossed out by like 90% of foods, I wish I liked more foods. Just this morning, I was like, fuck man, I'm already sick of the lunches I've really been enjoying. The salad I've been making with white beans and the red wine vinaigrette and the tomatoes and cucumber and stuff. I'm not as jazzed about it anymore. Fuck. This is what happens every time. And so then what do I have for lunch? Cereal. I have cereal for lunch. Why don't I get sick of cereal? <laughs> I never get sick of cereal. I'm actually experimenting and trying this for the first time, but I'm gonna share one of my protein hacks with you because starting your day with a high protein breakfast has been shown to be beneficial for women's hormones. And I personally feel like it helps to start my day right because it knocks out a certain amount of protein so I can worry a little bit less throughout the day, if that makes sense. That's why I usually do a smoothie. Vega made simple. Pea protein without any sugar or anything is better, but I really, enjoy the taste of the vega made simple otherwise i'm kind of like choking down a smoothie every morning that ain't me man a frozen banana vega made simple soy milk about a cup of soy milk peanut butter powder a tablespoon of hemp seeds that's a great way to get in omega-3s i think that's it sometimes i put some spinach in there and that's like 30 something grams of protein. I don't find them as filling anymore. I will say like smoothies I used to find so filling with protein, man, for the last like year or two, maybe they just don't fill me up much anymore. Whereas if I have like a bowl of oatmeal, I mean, to be fair, I put like a lot of calories in a bowl of oatmeal, so it could just be the calories. I really like sourdough if I'm gonna eat bread because it is fermented. So it's a little bit easier because a lot of the gluten is digested and broken down by the fermentation process. So it's kind of like a lower gluten bread. Is she gluten sensitive or something? I mean, if you have like celiac disease, I don't I don't think most people with celiac disease can handle sourdough bread. High protein tofu, it's literally called that. Um, and on the spectrum of tofus from like silken to 
This, this is like at the highest protein, firmest texture level. My husband said where he lived in China, the super firm tofu was just like firm tofu. But yeah, here it's like a little extra special, usually more expensive. I get mine from Trader Joe's. That seems to be the cheapest, $2.50 or $3. Whereas like the brand she just showed, I see that one at Kroger for like $4. Pretty crazy for just soybeans and calcium and water. One day, one day, man, I'm gonna get a block of tofu for like 50 cents. I know it. So she's making this like mayo, go, go how do you say it? Gochujang? Tofu like mash kind of thing. Man, I gotta put it in a pan. It drives me crazy. My middle child, my five-year-old really prefers tofu, just like out of the package, dunked in soy sauce. And then I'll go through the trouble of like pan frying or baking or whatever. And they're like, nah, just like, what, you're ruining it. Oh, she's going out to eat, getting a Sammy. Ooh, is that just like a bunch of mushrooms? The black on the pink. Ooh, I love it, it's so cute. This video is so cute. It wasn't very protein heavy in an obvious way, but one thing that I did want to point out is that almost all foods have some amount of protein, even vegetables, and I feel like that's something we overlook sometimes. Like when someone says protein, the first thing that comes to mind is probably chicken, soy, beef, tofu, but actually most foods, including bread even, has protein in it. The only thing that's tricky is, and I know I shared this in my last video, that with gluten-free products, they tend to be a little bit lower in protein. Okay, so she is eating gluten-free or kind of gluten-free, I guess. Yeah, the issue with protein and vegetables is volume, right? I mean, if you ate a diet of tomatoes, right? 2000 calories of tomatoes, that's like 100 grams of protein somewhere around there, right? It's like, wow, high protein food. But how much tomatoes you gotta eat? It's a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> but yeah, you are going to get several grams of protein from the fruits and vegetables and bread and stuff that you eat. It's why if you just eat like a grain heavy vegan diet with fruits and vegetables and like some amount of beans, some amount of tofu, you're still gonna get like 60 grams of protein a day. I feel really silly because I just realized my mic died. So we're just using the camera mic. Let me know if you guys can actually detect a difference in the way that it sounds because I think it sounds so much better when I have the actual mic on. It's a little echoey, but I can absolutely understand what she's saying, which I think is the big issue. Actually, what I hate is when noise reduction is done, like overdone, to the point where you can hear where it's cutting in and, and cutting out. I was just watching a Blippi video actually with my kids and he was at a water park and obviously the water's rushing, like it's really loud. And so they used a lot of noise reduction so you can still hear him. So you have this like cutting in, cutting out of the noise, right? When he's speaking, it dies down. And then as soon as he stops speaking, you hear the rushing water again and then he speaks. Oh my God, makes me crazy. I feel so tremendously grateful for all the support on the cookbook. Like I truly can't believe it. Oh, um, and it's like pink, like her kitchen and her nails. Oh my gosh, I love the the branding. Also, I love this daring chicken. It's so good. My favorite vegan chicken. I liked the daring chicken a lot. I think I talked about it on here. And then, I don't know, it just started to bother me. It's like too, too greasy, too, I don't know. Shocking, I know. I like something and then I don't like it. It's yucky. Frozen fruit is so slept on because they pick the fruit when it's at its ripest and then flash freeze it. So, so don't sleep on frozen fruit. Slept on, that's one of the things the kids are saying now, right? I saw at my kid's school, someone had written in chalk, someone is Sigma, like a kid, I forgot the kid's name, like over and over again, like Reggie is Sigma, Reggie is Sigma, Reggie is Sigma. And so I looked it up. <laughs> That's where we're at. We're looking up phrases that the kids are using. Uh-oh. I looked it up. Sigma Alpha, right? Sigma's like the, the lone wolf or whatever. It's like even cooler than Alpha. But I also saw it's like used ironically. So is it like kids being a dick? calling someone Sigma, but like, like being like, oh, cool shoes. Like, is, it, is that, is that what it is? I don't know. And we're basically going to spoon blobs of this raspberry mixture onto the sheet tray. If your mixture is looking a little too liquidy because juices come out of the berries, you can also add chia seeds. This step is optional, but I personally love it because it makes it taste like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is very weird. Am I crazy? So I did actually end up making these. I was just so tempted. The raspberry, it's too much. It's just so sour. And the seeds, like, fuck, man, I hate raspberries. Why did I use raspberries? I should have just used frozen strawberry. And I like that they're not so delicious. Well, maybe that's because it's raspberry instead of strawberry. <laughs> they're not like so delicious that I want to eat them all. Like I eat one and that's good. Point is, once I finish these, I'm going to make it again, but with strawberry. As always, you guys know every single what I eat in a day video. It's so different. Unless you're me, then pretty much every day looks the same. <laughs> Smoothie, 
salad or cereal. If it's summer, a whole lot of fruit, peaches and mangoes. And then dinner is like whatever I'm making for the kids, right? Tacos, spaghetti, baked tofu and veggies, stir fry, curry, soup, you know. Or honestly, sometimes I just like make food for them and then I do my own thing, right? If I really want a bowl of like rice and tofu and broccoli with just soy sauce, soy sauce, a little rice vinegar, a little sesame oil, scallions, avocado. So I loved that video. I think she, not to be like shallow, but she's so dang cute and just the aesthetic of the the little kitchen, the little pink kitchen is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen. She seems really happy and healthy and like confident in herself and in her cooking. Creative. I would never think to take frozen raspberries, thaw them, refreeze them, put chocolate on top. I would never think to do that, but honestly, that looks kind of really yummy. And yeah, vegans focusing on protein. I love it. Let's check out that Merle O'Neill one. I, I gotta see that one. Oh, that's a lot of tofu. Oh, sloppy hey, Joe kind of thing. Everybody. I'm not gonna be doing any protein shakes in this one. And the veggie kins. She didn't have any either, did she? Oh, more matcha, man. I, I Again, like I wish. I wish I got it. I, I don't get it. I prefer to have it with oat milk, but if I'm looking to crank up the gains and like get more protein, I'll use soy milk. Ooh, I love this like protein breakdown. Nice. Oh, superhero cereal. Those of you who watch a lot of my videos will recognize this recipe because I discovered it. This Can I even call this a recipe? It's cereal, okay? The truth is I did a video called I tried to eat like Grimes for a day didn't do very well. None of you know who she is apparently, which is fine. I discovered something that I now make almost every single day, which is an iteration nice. of her cereal of choice, which is just like a bran cereal with fruit in it. Then I pour my four tablespoons of peanut butter powder. Peanut powder, yeah, dude. Powder clumps a bit and it doesn't mix perfectly. That is even better because then you get like these clumps of peanut butter. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm done. I saw it coming. It's like, well, but there's powder. Like, no, she's gonna do something magic with the powder and it's not gonna be, no, she, there's clumps. And she likes the clumps. Now, what you could do, and what I may do, actually, blend the soy milk with the peanut powder first and then pour that in, right? Then you won't have any clumps. Little extra step, but there's, there's no, there's no fucking way. <laughs> there's no way I could eat that with clump, powdery clumps. It's so healthy. It's so good. It fuels you up. It'd also be good before a workout because it's like got carbs you can burn to get energy. I sometimes have this for dessert. Mostly thinking for myself here if I want to try this in the morning. Something different from a smoothie, right? I could also blend up my hemp seeds with the milk and protein powder so I can still get my omega-3s. The fruit on top though, I don't like raspberries, so I'll definitely do strawberry. Blueberry, eh, like blueberries are okay. I really only like the blueberries that we grow in our yard. <laughs> it's so extra, but it's true. These the sunshine blueberries, they're so tart. Oh my god, they're so good. So I did try this one as well. I used the Kroger brand muesli and the Nature's Path flax for the brand cereals since we already have that. My partner really likes it. And of course I did blend the peanut butter and the milk together. I topped it with strawberries, frozen banana. We didn't have fresh. I actually kind of liked that. The texture was kind of nice, but um, overall, no, not for me. It was really the thickness of the milk. Plus it wasn't very sweet. I ended up adding some Splenda, which was much better, but that didn't help with the thickness, like that thick peanut buttery milk. No, 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 no. Salad hater salad. 70 grams of tofu per block. 14 grams of protein per serving. And I'll eat a whole block of this in a day. I know there's a ton of misinformation out there about soy and tofu and the hormones and all that. Do what you want. I love tofu. I've been eating it. I eat a lot of it and I feel great. Amen, man. There, there are days I eat tofu for lunch and dinner and breakfast even. Tofu scramble, yeah. Most of the time I don't. I try to get more variety than that and eat other legumes. But uh, yeah, I eat tofu almost every day. Okay, so she's marinating the tofu, air frying it, putting it on some greens. Oh, is that nutritional yeast? That's a lot of nutritional yeast. That's a true vegan right there. I mean, that tofu is really working over time for you and that's a beautiful thing. She's so cute too. All right, we get into that sandwich. Yeah, sloppy Jane. That's cute. Oh, TVP. I just used a bunch of TVP in a like barley stew kind of thing. Oh man, it's so yummy, especially with a little bit of the Violife Parmesan on top. All right, so it's like a little TVP lentil sloppy joe with the carrot coleslaw thing on top. Nice. Lots of vitamin A too. Oh, I love her little ghost tattoo. That's so cute. That was another great one. All right, let's check out one more. YouTube says I watched this one. 
Jess Beautician. Why does it do that? Like, I like the red bar thing, I guess, to show your, like, progress on a video. <laughs> but half the time, it's like, I didn't watch, I didn't watch that video. What are you doing? I guess we'll check this one out. It says, what I eat in a day, a day in the life, vegan. This is from two weeks ago. My day starts Aww. with feeding these guys. They're ready and waiting as soon as I come down and nothing beats Aww. seeing their faces. Then for my breakfast, I had chocolate chia overnight oats. We're growing strawberries this year and honestly I didn't think this would work because we ran out of veg bed space and so I panic planted these in my very narrow herb border but we've been getting so many strawberries and it's the best thing going to pick some for breakfast most mornings. We get like two or three strawberries a day. I think we planted 25 little tiny plants earlier this spring and I chose one I forgot the phrase it's like continuous versus something else right one one type of berry produces two times a year in like two different chunks and then I think that a continuous just keeps making some right for several months so we get only a few at a time but we've been getting them for the last few months now I guess and I don't get any. I have three little kids, so of course I don't get any. Neither does partner. Uh, it's my middle child and my youngest. Pretty much every day we go out there and it's like, oh, there's one, which is fine because the only thing I really want is the tomatoes and nobody likes those but me. Then I took out my overnight oats. Another thing I wish I liked, like how easy, but no, I've tried it two or three times and just kill me. <laughs> It's disgusting. And I'm also really loving toasted coconut chips at the moment on my Ooh, oats and my yogurt. Good. So sweet and crunchy. And that was it. I make these using the Alpro chocolate plant protein milk. Just to up oh, the protein nice. for these. And it's just a really good breakfast before I work out. The added chia packs in extra fiber. And the oats are great for slow release energy because I'm someone that cannot work out on an empty stomach. It depends. If I work out first thing, like I did this morning, I'm fine but if I wait till like eight or nine like first thing for me is like six o'clock that's when I get up I work out as fast as I can before I have to get the kids up for school if I work out after then it's eight o'clock and that's a little harder because I'm, I'm starting to get hungry if you don't know get to know wow. I list all the products I use for my morning skincare and in general they're of course cruelty free and vegan and mostly organic I'm mostly now just using Paula's Choice I think it's reasonably priced they always have like actually good sales on their website too. Really like their, it's like light moisturizer with SPF, SPF, something like that. I like that one a lot. And I use their retinol, the BHA. Those are the three main things I use. And then I'm using up uh, for like nighttime moisturizer, which I hardly ever use unless like today I'm wearing makeup. I usually don't wear makeup. So when I take it off, I'll use it at night. First aid beauty, I think. Plus I like supporting the brand polish choice because they don't tend to promote like the clean beauty shit they they tend to be more evidence-based but if i forget i just make sure that i use it the next morning again alongside evolve beauty's products <laughs> this has been oh sorry what is this that is evidence-based but like holy shit that's so funny looking i love it i did have one of these plenish turmeric recovery shots i love these oh, it's like me. so another immunity shot type of thing veggiekins had one too which is fine if you like them right like they're healthy they're fine but the idea they boost your immunity that they help you get sick less often it, it's just not evidence-based and the whole boosting your immune system thing is kind of a joke it just doesn't really make sense short interlude to show you this courgette i grew it is gigantic nice one <laughs> okay so she's making a juice very healthy oh kill me oh the foam oh she didn't even rinse it and drain it oh my goodness i remember i made hummus that way once and i could not eat it oh those are pretty one clove of garlic some finely chopped basil and a good pinch of salt Ooh, combine that yummy. together then added in the chopped tomatoes turned them through Ooh. and just let my parents used to always do like red onion and cucumber oh oh so good the whipped butter beans on the toast and added the marinated tomatoes on top. That's Another good pinch yummy. of salt and finished with some more basil. And I had that with a glass of the green juice. Or matcha. Man. Oh, look how furry. It's got the long fur. Roasted red pepper and harissa rigatoni. That sounds good. The kids would kill me. <laughs> Too spicy. Silken tofu. Nice. 
the roasted garlic. Oh, the basil. That's a lot of basil. Oh, yummy. See, I can make this. We have so much basil that needs to be used. I really love a creamy roasted red pepper kind of sauce for pasta. Man, that's so good. A quarter of a cup of breadcrumbs into a bowl with a quarter of a cup of hemp seeds, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, and then a small handful of the chopped parsley. And I scattered that onto the tray with the oil I used for roasting the red peppers and the garlic, turned it all through to get it coated and just popped that under the grill for the last couple oh, of minutes. So many good ideas in this videos. And then for dessert, I just had a little vegan protein yogurt and I grated over a frozen peach added oh on interesting a i'm just not creative at all with food <laughs> maybe these are all very basic but i'm just like oh my god frozen peach I'm grating a fro who does that right that's that sounds delicious i love that idea anyway i gotta go pick up my kids from school so i will do an outro later and give you some more thoughts on everything but yeah that all looked delicious i'm so stoked Fantastic. Love the amount of protein, of course. I mentioned calcium before. There was a lot of tofu, a lot of calcium set tofu in these videos. Calcium fortified milk as well. I think both Merle and Jess, Jessica, I think they both were using calcium fortified milks. B12 and vitamin D are the two major supplements. And I mean, all three, they seem very knowledgeable about nutrition, right? So I would be shocked if they weren't supplementing for both of those, especially B12. Of course, I always have to mention iodine if you are not using iodized salt. They do have iodized sea salt now. Or eating seaweed or taking a multi or just a standalone, you know, iodine supplement, then there's a pretty good chance you're not getting a whole lot of iodine. Veganhealth.org has a list of nutrients that are easier to get via supplementation. We recommend that vegans take a daily multivitamin that contains these B12, iodine, selenium, D, and zinc. Oh, they even have some recommendations. This is new for Australia, Canada, South Africa, and United States. Deva Tiny Tablets. That's what my partner takes. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like and subscribe. And of course, thank you so much to my members and my patrons at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. I do post two exclusive videos there a month for tier two members and patrons. I do a vlog. I'm going to post that just in the next couple of hours, the vlog for September. And then I also do a controversial topic at the end of the month. Thanks again, guys. New video soon. Or if I don't eat anything before a workout, I'll feel more or less fueled and ready. And I can literally track how my body is fueling oh no, the energy throughout the day with today's sponsor, Lumen. Lumen is the world's first handheld metabolic coach. They've logged 55 million metabolic measurements and are the leading experts on metabolic health. With just one breath first thing in the morning, Lumen can measure your metabolism so you can know if you're burning fat or you're burning carbs. You oh can goodness. do this more than one. Uh-oh, science-based medicine has an article about it. That's not a good sign. Lumen is a handheld device that you can supposedly use to hack your metabolism. The science behind it is not convincing. Users are essentially navel gazing. It's about what I expected. $300? We are. Part of me is like, ooh, fun tracking things. Like I love my Fitbit. I love having all that data and I love I wore it during my last, I think my last two pregnancies. So cool having this chart of my heart rate just dropping. Like you can tell exactly when I gave birth because the heart rate just, the resting heart rate just drops over the next like month or so. It's really cool. But like, does that help me be healthy? No. Does it help me be at a lower weight? No.